You know, here in the Midwest, this Ohio property looks a lot like Indiana. You know, we've got a good hardwoods in here. We've got ridges, we've got creek bottoms, we've got, we got agricultural fields, we've got bean fields, we've got corn fields, we've got food plots, there's water. This has got anything and everything you'd want to hunt out here. You know, I can't express enough what a blessing it is to be able to go to a piece of property that is actually managed properly and see the quality of animals. And I mean, there's lots of places you can go hunt, but when you come across one that is truly managed right, I mean, it's unbelievable and what a blessing it is to be able to hunt that kind of a property. You know, I use Keith's gun during this thing. It's a Savage 270. And uh, I mean, what a sweet shooting little gun. And we're still in negotiations. I'm still trying to end up taking that gun home with me. I don't think he's going to go for it. But I mean, it is a sweet shooting gun. I will own one of those here quickly. This, this place we're hunting here, I mean, if you're wanting to go kill a deer of a lifetime and have a good quality hunt, fantastic accommodations, and, and you can eat more than you could ever think about, I mean, this is a place you need to put on there. I mean, it's, it's without a doubt one of the finest hunting places I've ever been in my life. Like I said, it's anything and everything I've ever wanted, without a doubt, buddy. I can't thank you enough, Keith. This is unbelievable. Finding a great place to hunt for big Midwestern whitetails can be difficult. I like to compare it to finding a great place to catch fish. The problem is, when you find that great place, I think it's human nature to keep it a secret. You know, the outdoors has a way of bringing people closer together, and you can be uh, friends or you can be family. X Factor Whitetails of Ohio is one of those great places where for the deer hunter that's looking to bag a big Midwest giant, they can realistically expect to have an opportunity unlike few other places I know. Man, what? Mm. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh. You're awesome. <laughs> this place is beautiful and the commitment that has gone into developing this special hunting ground in the Midwest is unparalleled. As hunters, we all make choices as we go to the field. How we hunt, where we hunt, and what we hunt are some of those choices that should be left up to each of us individually. Far too many times there are small groups of hunters that put themselves in a position to act like the moral compass for all hunters. Sometimes, they even operate under the disguise of conservation groups. I call these hunters elitists, as they look to find fault with our fellow hunters. Hunters, each and every hunter, is a part of a special brotherhood that finds joy as we take to the field. It's not so much as the size of the animals that we bring home that define success. It's the memories we take from each adventure. It enriches our lives and leaves us wanting more. For the millions of hunters that take to the field each year, we do so realizing that when it comes right down to it, it's all about the joy of the hunt. Mm -hmm.